Allez, où est-ce que tu es? Je suis là, je suis là, je suis là, je suis là. Mili na bo zoeba, o ma zada goda o kwe hai narobi sauce yo kwa mili. Nkia mna nkuu nubia kuteta abona sisi soto tayi ebu pugo more than ten buckets na those classrooms. Obona na aro chalona by 2017. Mana aibati ana ebe first by this by October that is by this time last two years. Mili zoezi. Aye bata na class, maakuko maazi mebe ni ne. Aye bia na ototo, bifa aye bido kuzwe nkuzi. One akocha eleven, ebo maazi na akoso mili. Duto na zinke, duto na zinke eji wele lodo ono. Mili bia lo bukaria. Aye wele find the zaa out na, di zinke eji wele, kuyabo scrub kadi manu, eji yedi building law, jeru wo wele lo, lo, kwa all the zinks. Zinke wele metu ya kubele, di ting wele hukara. Classroom ni ni mo fisi head miss man kwa ndunguzi ndunguzi bona mbo fada nu na ukwosi kaya na na gua uko du to mili do na class abu ni ke yuko mili ya the high for the day aya puta na ukwosi doro na ro agua uko eh aya dego kwa uko dega la spare dega local government ndi aya gua government mano abu haya gua government biusi uko na isa yuko ufa eba huna follow lu fuda kafu ba eba ina ano before ewe lo anka this new one now. I wear one or see we go new place to stay. But in high for the bona, even on the old one now, I bar also. I na I na baka kuziaba humbo for do. We keep one million the high. I just no charge a pet chair na kokuya. O maz ni na na baka pose na baka private. Mak again the parents na da annoyed. Habia no toto ha phone wah ko na one million. The one you are gabo. You send on one go to school. Obi on toto na one million. Time for English and math na the guy. Obi leba na one million. Mau mau kwa mandu nkiza yencha na tezi bwa au fweba. Especially ni udu mili. Ihe mna ayoze keta boka. Government si batara ayose ye maka. I'm a lawyer by profession. A politician by calling. Well, in recent times, we seem to be sliding back. As you can see, the state of infrastructure. Talking about roads. Talking about water supply, talking about power, talking about the basic necessities of existence seem to have collapsed. Our road, this, uh, this road used to be a Trong B road, but when the military came over and took over nearly all aspects of our governance and economy, the Juriva Ogwo Trong B road became a federal road. After the Civil War, it was rehabilitated from Oji to Awu by the Ministry of Works, East Central State. That was the first repetition in 1970-71. The second repetition was 1979, when the MPP, under Jim Wobro, took over. Then my father was a senator for Anambra Central, which includes most of Enugu State, except maybe in Soka. Now, uh, Recently, the Arakoto was awarded some years back to uh, Master Holdings to do from Oji to Mpu to Atuakshore Wakbanko in Aniri. Somewhere down the line, the thing was caught and uh, the Master Holdings contract was reduced to the, Akino, to the junction at Mako. As you can see, Master Holdings barely crossed the elbow and collapsed, couldn't go further. I hear now it has been reawarded to Setraco that did the other section Master Holdings could have done from uh, Ndabo Ongu Junction right to Okbanko, nearly at Akaze in a boring local, a boring state. Well, the, center of the, the quality of the road is too poor, and a, a number of washouts, a number of collapse, and uh, right now, a journey that from here, we used to do in about uh, 10, 12 minutes. Now you do it for 30 minutes. I, I commend uh, some patriotic persons from this area 
who have raised money to rehabilitate or do some remedial uh, activity on the road. But a lot needs still to be done. I'm a little bit aghast that the local government has not been able to do even first aid, bring in some uh, heavy equipment, rechannelize the roads, put up some, um, some um, would I say, earth, earth and rocks to stabilize the road. The argument about being federal is the issue. This is first aid, just to make the road not completely collapse, but not as nothing has been done. So that's where we are. The road is in a very, very, very poor shape. In fact, from after the able market there, you can only heavy vehicles uh, can transpass it of those who are desperate. I went to Ogwe a few days ago. I had to go through uh, Obago. That was the route I took to go to Ogwe. A journey that have taken me, say, 15 minutes, took me nearly 45 minutes. So it's unfortunate. You see, primary education and the rest, the local government has a lot of role to play in the schedule of the activity. But somehow, the other, everybody leaves everything to every state or federal. The local government needs to be more uh, proactive. I am aware from information available in the public domain that local government funding since June now gets to the local government direct. On average, Ojiriva should be receiving, including VAT, about 160 million per month. If the council is serious, they can do a lot of palliatives, a lot, a lot of activity, and improve the lives of the citizens of this area. We don't have to always wait for the federal government. We don't have to always wait for the state. The local government can trigger a process. But that route from Iñi to Olo, through Mam, Mbala, getting into Isochi, is a, is, a, is a very important road, which uh, stopped or was uh, abandoned when the bridge was blown during the Civil War. It needs to be rehabilitated. It can change the movement. You see, Anambra's magic is that so many roads are available for you to move, interconnecting roads. We need that road. I'm happy that recently the one from uh, Alumini to the bridge was rehabilitated. Because invariably, if you want to go to if I want to go to Okana, I, I go through that route. If I want to go to Imo, I go through that route. So these routes are important to rehabilitate, um, get them back on stream, and uh, change the lives of the people on that route and make traveling easier for passengers. And alternatives to the almighty Enugu uh, Nature Expressway that seems impossible to repair. I would like the town union bodies to be more effective. They are democratically elected and have a time frame. A traditional authority is for life and leads to some bellicosity and some, would I say, complacency. So let the town union people rise to the occasion and administer or trigger development. There are different kinds of people with different kinds of behavior. Why can't we live as one? My name is uh, Mr. Harrison Okoro, aka Harry Moscow. I'm the Town Union Public Relation Officer, both home and abroad. As you can see now, this place here is Olo Isiyama. And we're exactly at the one uh, secondary school in this town. We call this school a uh, community secondary school in Olo, Ojiri Valley government area of Enugu State. Well, my brother, as you can see, it's like some of the project here has been an abandoned project. Uh, this place you are watching now is place they wanted to build a, a laboratory where the students will be coming in to learn more. But it looks like it has been abandoned. By your right side there, you can see some lead foundation, abandoned lead foundation blocks that have been there for so many years. Uh, when you move up there now, you can see what the erosion has been doing to, the, to this place because here is sandy soil. So erosion is condemning some certain areas here. Yeah? Uh, in fact, in this town, we need government help. We want government to come across this town, Olo. Uh, we have some bad roads. The road that took us to this place, when you go straight now, you link to another state, that is Abia State. But you cannot pass through because there is an abandoned bridge project there that has been there since Civil War. 
So in fact, this all our community, we need government help, more especially in this school, community secondary school, is Amola. We want government to come and help us so that the students here will be enjoying this school. For now, there is no much enjoyment. Thank you. My name is Engineer Augustine Ike Ekwazi. I'm from Amponatachi. This is my place. And uh, you have seen the road list that leads to Amponatachi. And you have seen the Universal Primary School, the school where we all schooled and our children are supposed to be schooling. You can see the dilapidations. That one is almost giving way to soon fall apart. I personally, together with some patriotic citizens, contributed money to buy chairs, re-roof it, and do our best to make sure that it is functioning for our students. But, um, well, we are doing our best, but we need the local government to come in because it is their duty, actually. You can see the road leading to it. We have seen so many. We can still see some. We are, in fact, this is our major road, and this is our, the only primary school owned by this uh, government, Universal Primary School, you know. We have the ones that are owned by the church, you know, in some other places, but this is owned by the government, UPE school, where our children are supposed to be schooling. But because of the dilapidations and lack of motivation, the, the teachers are being paid by us anyway. And um, in fact, I will call the chairman of the, come my brother, he let him give you more brief since I'm not really living here. My name is Ivan Singh. It's Ivan Singh. I come. Native of Amakpunatachi. The school SBMC chairman. School based management committee chairman. We are begging the government to come and help us. Because the school is uh, falling school apart. Is falling apart. Last year we have um, one part of the government who built who rehabilitated the one building. Okay. Others are falling apart. And the, the, the are rehabilitation is done by the citizens anyway. Okay, Buying the furniture, even paying the teachers. We are paying the, paying the teachers. Yes, we are paying the teachers. Are paying teachers. So PTA what is the government teachers. doing to probably uh, government is not You're paying always advising us to go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, we're encouraging you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but they have government teachers here. In Ojibwa? No, in here. Particular school. Yes, they have. Maybe one or two or three. The bulk of the teachers, if we have them, are paid by the Parent Teacher Association. Yes, yes. Okay, please, uh, come and show us the, the, the lapidation and the ones you people. Beautiful. And all that. Beautiful. All right. We are going to show you. Le, 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 look at, look. Uh, uh, oh, Hugo Road. <laughs> Did you see the road? Yes. That's the only road, though. <laughs> They don't have even the frames anymore. The window louvers are gone. The frames are gone. The erosion has taken over the window sill. The, the, the uh, walls are falling apart. The ceiling is not there. The roof is leaking badly. See the, see, see the erosion. It drives away children when they come to school. The few that comes. And like I said, even so the teachers, the not aware of all this stuff. They, are, they, are they are aware. They are very much aware. But they will be coming to promise us Okay, it will be okay. Oh, you are encouraged. Oh, you are trying. Um, we'll soon do something about it. And uh, it's deteriorating further and further and further. Okay, you say something about when this uh, school was built. 1976. So since 1976, it has been like this. You can yeah. see it. You have seen it. Anything you see that is like, anything you see that is like repair is self help. Self help. Self help. PTA's and PTA's. the citizens that are, because I'm one of them. PTA teachers is where, uh, we are paying. Okay, so now. what do you think government can do here to let them come and rehabilitate this school? I staff it. Staff it. Then our children will come here and do the necessary. Right. It's meant is universal primary education school. Let it function as such. This window is supposed to be three feet minimum above the ground level. You can see it's already at the ground level because it has been covered up by erosion and sand and everything. Nobody is taking care of that. The windows are not there. The furniture is lacking. Who are even going to school there? Look at the ceilings. The windows are there for you to see what they look like. The roof is leaking. Badly. 
I said the only thing we have gotten since it was established was the rehabilitation done by the Enugu, you can see it, Enugu uh, Ubeck. That's the only thing. But these other ones, the repairs and the furnishing and the staffing and the teaching and what have you are done by us, the citizens, the PTA. Save Oji River Now project, in, uh, project Oji River Now initiative uh, is all encompassing of all well-meaning individuals of Oji River. Whether you are born as an Oji River man or you are married into Oji River, you are entitled to be a member of Sonia. All those who have good intentions for Oji River, all those who want to emancipate the people of Oji River from the mental slavery of the gladiators stakeholders, there are a group of people that came together and swore that they will not liberate Oji River, just like what Pharaoh did to the Egyptian. We have a lot of erosion menace, we have a lot of collapse building. We, we, if you see an eyesore, when we talk about personal hygiene, the children do not have where to ease themselves as a urinary or toilet. And children are exposed to snake bites. We don't want to talk about, in my own community, we have been paying for higher teachers. What Sonai is fighting for is for the emancipation of the slavery. Sonai had decided that we are going to make Oji River great. This is the time for Oji River people to possess back our possession. Power belongs to people. Yes. Well, I, I endorse the move, the initiative by the Save Oji River uh, platform. I do so because I'm a progressive. I am not a member, but I support their move because I look at the youths who are the future who are the dynamic uh, segment of society trying to take back their community and uh, drive improvement in the lives of the people. So I support them. Uh, this area is uh, essentially controlled by one political party. There is, there is no competition, which is a tragedy as far as I'm concerned. You get the best when there's competition. So when two forces are contending, you get the best out of a given situation, political and economic and otherwise. So our problem is that we are a monolithic political culture. It has retarded development and it has helped us. So some people put themselves together and call themselves super stakeholders. I laugh because some of them do not even know how the Jiriba was created. If we give the history, some people will be embarrassed. But let's leave that for now. The fact remains that the Jiriba must move forward. So I support the youth for what they are doing. Well, you see, the thing is that uh, society is dynamic and uh, change is one, uh, one, one principle in life that there is almost always be change. Society is dynamic and society cannot be static. So if any group of persons or caucus come together to force a process for advancement of society, well and good. What I, let a thousand flowers bloom. Let there be more, let there be variety. It shouldn't be just one track movement. Let other people get up and challenge the status quo. That is progress. When you challenge the status quo, then in the process of uh, contending forces, the best comes out in the best interest of the masses. That's where I stand. Oh,